Confidence not only is really important for us, it makes us feel happy, it affects and empowers uh, other people, it causes people to treat us differently, we make more sales, we make more money, we marry better, we're better and more effective socially. Self-confidence is everything. And so I began studying when my self-confidence was... The law of belief says, what do you believe in? You believe that you must ultimately achieve this goal unswervingly, and that belief creates your reality because you begin to see the whole world differently. The law of expectations, you confidently expect that everything that happens is part of a plan to help bring you towards your goal. The law of attraction, what do you attract? You attract people, ideas, and circumstances into your life to uh, help you to achieve your most important goal. The law of uh, subconscious, the law of correspondence, your outer world corresponds to your inner world of goal setting. The law of subconscious activity, you continually program your subconscious mind with a clear picture of your goal, and your subconscious mind arranges all your words and actions so that they fit a pattern consistent with achieving that goal. And the law of habit is you think about your goal repeatedly over and over again until it becomes a habit to wake up in the morning and think all day about your goal. And so all you need to do to raise your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and your level of attainment high is to have an absolutely crystal clear goal and work on it every single day. We say that, we say that, that happiness is the progressive... So don't talk about things you don't want because your mind is so powerful. It's this powerful engine that is sending out vibrations and attracting into your life people and circumstances in harmony with the things you're saying and the thoughts that you're thinking. If you're thinking negative thoughts, you're attracting those things into your life. So we say that you are a living magnet. And there's a second law. It's called the law of sympathetic resonance. A friend of mine spent uh, 18 years studying the biographies of more than 500 men and women who had started with nothing and became successful. And he was looking for the common denominator of success, and he found it. He found that every single one of these people throughout their lives absolutely believed that they were going to be a big success. They absolutely believed they were going to be a big success when they grew up and no matter what happened to them in their adult lives, and they never lost sight of that. Like the three wise men following the star, they felt that everything that happened was part of the process. Every setback was a lesson. Every pain was something sent to teach them something that would be helpful. And they never stopped believing in themselves.